How's it going guys, Eagle here, and welcome to Outlast 2. So, um... <laughs> Outlast 2 just came out yesterday, and I have been downloading it all of yesterday with the pure intention of Let's Playing this. As you can see, it is daylight outside. I've been told to play this at night time in the dark, but I can't do it at night time because things and stuff. Um, but... Yeah, I can I can definitely do it in the dark. So we're here in the dark for this lovely let's play. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I hate horror in all forms. I absolutely despise horror. I hate getting scared. I hate feeling scared. I don't like being scared, basically. <laughs> um, and Outlast, especially Outlast Two, has been crowned as one of the scariest games in the market right now. Um, but I did I did enjoy the first Outlast. I didn't play through it for my first impression. I saw other people play it first, and then I downloaded it and played through it myself. Played through it. I um, played through it myself, and it was it was good, and I liked it. And I didn't remember all the scares. I was a little bit scared at times, um, so it was a nice little introduction into it. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll play Outlast on the channel at some point. But I've already played through the game, so my reactions won't be. But maybe it'll be in a few years or something, I don't know. And Outlast 2, hopefully, we're good. Uh, I'm going to show subtitles for the pure um, I like my sensitivity high. I'm going to do high, I'm going to do subtitles for the pure intention of just um, video <laughs> recording. Um, where are my controls? I should know that first. They're probably going to tell me anyway. Um, uh, let's crouch and crawl. A toggle microphone? Okay. Um, let's just jump into it. I'm going to go normal. Because I'm a pussy bitch. <laughs> Outlast 2 contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Am I going to be able to put this on YouTube. <laughs> Ooh. Lynn Langerman is an investiga investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Okay. Record everything. Neither of your fighters... To so she's alive. Neither of your fighters, to navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert, your only choices are to run, hide, or die, which is a direct line taken from the first outlast. The fruit of destruction shall ripen within the foul womb of the martyred mother. The spider-eyed lamb shall bring judgment of the lesser whore onto the great... I didn't get to read that. Okay. I'm scared too. And it hasn't even started. <laughs> The graphics are nicer. You were calling out some other woman's name. What? <laughs> In your sleep. Jessica, I think. You know a Jessica? Oh, uh, no. Who's Jessica? I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't thought about her in ages. <laughs> hey, we're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. Well, that's my wife. Give me the camera right away. The camera was one of the best um, parts of, of the first Outlast. I have my glasses, apparently. Control now. Ooh. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Havasupai Indian Reservation in central. 
Central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, uh, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably hmm. mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version what does of it do? the intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Jesus Christ. That's one heck of a start. <laughs> okay. Outlast 2. I didn't really talk during that much because I didn't want to like interrupt them. And then we start in a school. I'm assuming this is a school, could be a hospital or something. Um, I, a fun fact, did not play the demo of this game. Is there any way to up my brightness? Um, no, there is not. I'm just going to avoid these lockers, because I have heard about the demo inducing things about lockers. I am walking very slowly. Don't you fucking dare. I don't have a camera, so I'm clearly not the um, people that I was before. That is one heavily cheekboned boy <laughs> to Jessica so this is Jessica mm. I heard that oh hey dude what's going on just gonna follow you I can't run so that's not a positive thing at all um he's going to the right door if that is a door. Uh, time is ten past six. Oh well, seven past six. But I'm rounding. Do I have to turn around? Yes, I do. Looks like it was taken directly from The Shining. <laughs> Is that the film? Is it The Shining? With the blood in the... I think it's The Shining. I forget. But as with all video game heroes, we can survive helicopter crashes like nothing. Ooh. Interesting. And the first thing that you do is not check for injuries, is not check for your wife, it's grab the camera. A true journalist. <laughs> you can see your objective by pressing tab. That's not tab, that's... That is tab. The Jane knows... Okay, so there's the, the clips that we recorded. So that's interesting, so we have a record function on the camera. Like, we can actually look back at what we've recorded. Um, so that's cool. That's a cool little detail. That they didn't have... In the, uh... In the last one. I can hear the... Eh. Which is always creepy. Hear, like, little girls. The other one just moved towards... That's the same as the, um... Last game, but considerably more slow. I just did press control, I suppose I held it on for a little bit too long. Okay. This is one heavy crash. 
When the rec when record time blinks, it means you're aiming correctly at the recording event. Okay. So we have to record some stuff now. That's interesting. <laughs> Review recorded videos to learn more about events and goals. She wasn't there. Lynn's body wasn't in the wreckage. I see. She could still be alive. Video recorded. Press tab. To I already did that. Okay. Shit. What are you oh shitting? Jesus. What is that? What is that? I have bandages? There's a health system! No! I don't want combat. And they have night vision too. I really hope that's just the glass. Oh no! No combat, please. Why Arizona? I thought Arizona was a cool place. Do any batteries left? Oh, oh, oh fuck me! F fuck! What the shit? That did not happen in the crash. Fuck this. Lynn. Okay. That's the pilot? The fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, Bobby. Um, I'm sorry it didn't last too long. Yeah, what is... Look at your right pocket to use bandages. How do I look at my right pocket? I was going to say, can I, like... Oh, those are intestines! Ooh... That's not so good. Um, oh, I see, there you go. That's how you use bandages. Sweet. So that's like my menu, basically. It's all to do with the camera, because that was the arguably best part of Outlast, um, the original one, was that you had this camera, which was what set it apart from different horror games, because there are... I don't want to look back. Okay. Because um, it was like the, the, little, the little detail that sort of defined the game was the camera. It was the one thing that you held on to for your, like, your safety and your security. Um, and it kind of defined the game in that respect, so it's it's kind of expected to have the camera in Outlast 2. Oh, I've got a town. I didn't even know that. Oh, so I am. There's a church over there. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna get. It's gonna have to take me a while to get used to these controls. It really is, because I'm not gonna. I'm not good with controls. Now I have heard Nothing matters but Lynn. that this game is um a little bit more ritualistic than the first game was. Um the first game was more about monsters and myths. Um that vaulting mechanic is the exact same as it was in the game before. Um, it was more about like um, myths, oh. urban legends, stuff like that, and that was what the War Rider was. Ah, uh, fuck this. Okay, it's jammed. Good. I like jammed doors. That's good. Um, but this one is a little bit more um about 
religion. I have heard the I have heard it, um I've heard the game be defined as satanic. Um <laughs> Which is always interesting. It's always a good thing that you want when um, looking for a, for a game to play. You always want to go for the satanic ones. I hear those are the best ones. Oh, no. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey, man. Oh shit. Oh shit. You're. This just happened. Oh. Well, damn. Can I? Do I have to? Okay. Um. I have to see this. My dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we've done. This is in Arizona, isn't it? I don't know what the actual like accent for that is. It's not like Texan, is it? Well, I feel like it is because we're in like a little rural town. I don't know, in the desert. I don't know. My dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we've done or being apart from our little ones, so I'm going over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind, and God forgives me this last trespass. I know that they had, I know that they had to be offered up, but I'm all tore up inside and I can't live no more. Hopefully the end will come soon and we can be together again, unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa, Papa Noth. Yours forever, Tom. Good old Tom. Look at him, just chilling with his besties, the flies. So, um... This is... Oh dear. This is a, um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going. You can say goodbye to that idea. <laughs> no, thank you. Um. This is a religious town. It's very religious. Which is probably where the. Satanism comes from. Are they possessed? Because that guy had sparkly eyes. Okay, I'm trying not to get too close to the screen because I hate being scared. I hate jump scares. What am I peeking? I don't actually need to use my night vision right now. Hi! I saw that machete. That is a horse with a. That's a cow. That's a cow with a pitchfork inside of it. This game is freaky. Oh, hey! I think if the locals are treating you like that, you kind of have to get out. Because I'm telling you now, my dude. <gasps> oh. So I can't hide in that for long. That's fucking grand. I forget what I was saying. I'm kind of freaked out right now. And that's no good. And you all are probably yelling at me. Being like, Oh wow, you need to move faster. You need to not use your night vision as much. Well no, I'm going to use my night vision as much as I goddamn please. Thank you very much. A 
realize because someone is watching you. And I don't know who, and I don't know where. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that they suck. <sighs> Could you be any louder? Some doors have deadbolts. by crawling under beds. Or can I now? I'm going to have to unlock this door and hide under the bed. How do I crawl? That's how I crawl. Oh, I don't like this at all. In fact, this sucks. And I hold to crawl as well. And the door closed. I heard it. I'm not turning around though. Nice ominous music there. I'm going to not turn around to that sound. In fact, I think I better run. Never go into a mine. I never go into Satan something God. Midwife's lament. The babe is coming, ready the knife, the babe is coming, knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within, God's creation, saved with sin. Hallelujah, stay the storm. No longer must we wait for the for come the dawn, the enemy born, to die in temple gate. The baby is growing, her belly swells, the baby is growing, sent from hell. Ezekiel waits, sharpening his blade. Gaither, at the gate we kneel and pray. So this is what they did with the kid. With the fetus. They raised a hell baby. raised a fucking hell baby God. these are all kids like alive kids well not alive anymore but like real kids you had to didn't you game you fucking had to and the rocking course you know classic horror with the rocking horse and the swing fuck me fuck me okay i'm going to end the episode here just before we do anything else i'm going to end this here and um we i'm probably going to keep playing now I get very, very scared because I want to upload this series as much as possible. 
um, and yeah, um, I'm <sighs> enjoying the game, nothing's happened yet, which is good, um, but as we get further on, I'm sure it will get worse and worse and worse, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you liked it, we should have to click the like button, um, even though it's just the starting, starting episode, just the introduction one, really. Um, if you just click the like button because it tells me that I'm doing a good job and that you guys want to see more. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. So thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.